हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द चैनल लर्निंग ट्यूटोरियल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व दैट इज इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन सो वी हैड अर्लियर कंप्लीटेड द चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक मटेरियल सो आई हैड डिवाइडेड दैट इन टू टू पार्ट्स सो यू कैन गो एंड विजिट इन आवर चैनल टू सी दैट वीडियोज ऑल्सो सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई वुड लाइक टू मेक अ रिक्वेस्ट सो प्लीज यू all do the subscribe to this channel make sure to subscribe this and if you found this video helpful you can also like and share throughout your friends okay so come on we should start now so yes so सो so, ये जो है हमारा पहला कॉन्सेप्ट है यहाँ पे आप जो देख रहे हो कैल्वेनोमीटर का यहाँ पर सो so, ये डायग्राम आपको एनालाइज करना है यहाँ पे ये क्या डायग्राम है बेसिकली सो so, ये कैल्वेनोमीटर का डिफ्लेक्शन है सो व्हाट वी अंडरस्टूड बाय द कैल्वेनोमीटर डिफ्लेक्शन सो बेसिकली इट इज़ द मीटर विच कैलकुलेट्स और विच शोज यू द रेंज ऑफ द डिफ्लेक्शन लाइक सपोजिंगली इफ दिस इज द बैटरी कनेक्टेड ओवर हियर एंड इफ देर इज नो करंट इन साइड दिस बैटरी यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज द पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल एंड दिस कम्स थ्रू आउट ओवर हियर निगेटिव टर्मिनल राइट सो ओवर हियर दिस इज यू यू कैन से लाइक कंडक्टर और सोलेनॉइड वॉट एवर इट मे बी सो इन पासिंग इन दिस क्लोज सर्किट इफ वी आर पासिंग करंट ओवर हियर सो वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट इफ करंट इज एट हाई लेवल सो इट विल बी शोइंग यू एट द हाइएस्ट लेवल लाइक दिस सो डिफ्लेक्शन रेंज विल बी द इन द पोजिशन ऑफ एक्सट्रीम राइट सो यहाँ पर जो पोजिशन है उसका वो एक्सट्रीम राइट पर आ जाएगा और जब भी नो करंट रहेगा इन केस ऑफ नो करंट वॉट विल हैपन इट विल शो यू द नल रेंज नल रेंज इन द सेंस इट will show you in the this type you can see in the figure number c so it will show you basically the uh, extreme left position so it is also known as left deflection what it is known as left deflection if there is the decreasing current inside the circuit so you also can see the range over here if the current passes through here then how is the direction passes in that figure so basically it winds up like this manner so you can see how the direction of the current is going here okay so here you can see the deflection range is very high because here in this circuit you can see that the increasing number of current increasing flow of current basically so you will see like this and in the case of figure number c you will see like this uh, that is decreasing current and the state will be in null range okay so we should further now proceed so let's see here what it is सो so, अभी जो आप देख रहे हो ये कंडीशन है बार मैग्नेट का अप्रोचिंग अ क्लोज सर्किट कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ अ कॉइल एंड गैल्वेनोमीटर सो ये जो बार मैग्नेट है ये अप्रोच कर रहा है आपके क्लोज सर्किट को विच आल्सो कंसिस्ट ऑफ कॉइल एंड गैल्वेनोमीटर सो द बेसिकली देर आर टू टर्म्स ओवर हियर इन बार मैग्नेट एज यू आर नो दैट इज द नॉर्थ पोल एंड द साउथ पोल सो वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट वेन यू ब्रिंग दिस बार मैगनेट मोर नियर टू द कॉइल वॉट हैपन्स सो वेन द मैगनेट इज टेकन away from the closed circuit a current is again produced but in the opposite direction with respect to the experiment so when you take away that it will also take that back into opposite direction like supposedly now the flow is in this manner like you can see the uh, flow from right to left so what will happen so current uh when you will take away this bar magnet like this is the pole and this is some distance at which uh, it is maintained so after taking that back what will happen it will flow in the opposite direction right so the flow will change its direction so if instead of the magnet the coil is moved towards the magnet or away from it and induced current is produced in the inside the coil so in closed circuit what happens next is uh instead of magnet when the coil is moved towards the magnet this coil is moved towards the when it comes closer or nearer what happens is that or away we can say or away from it so the induced current will be produced in that circuit right so if the polarity of approaching or receding like if the bar magnet it says about over here uh, about the bar magnet so when it approach or recede जब भी वो नज़दीक जा रहा है उसके या रिसाइडिंग या उसे पीछे आ रहा है मैग्नेट की बात कर रहे हैं हम लोग सो इस इट इज़ चेंज द डरेक्शन ऑफ इंड्यूस्ड करंट इन द कॉइल इज ऑल्सो चेंज सो बेसिकली देखो सिंपल लैंग्वेज में आपको मैं बताता हूँ यहाँ पे व्हाट हैपन्स इज दैट द नेचर गेट्स चेंज सो वेन इट कम्स क्लोजर द डरेक्शन सपोज इज फ्रॉम द फ्लो इज फ्रॉम लाइक फ्लो इज क्लॉक वाइज वेन यू टेक फार अवे फ्रॉम दैट वॉट विल हैपन द सडनली द डरेक्शन विल चेंज फ्रॉम दैट 
like it will uh, moving either of uh, instead of moving uh, clockwise it will move towards anti clockwise direction so that is the nature of the bar magnet when it comes closer or uh, taken far away from the closed circuit right so now what fifth point says over here is that the magnitude of induced current depends on the relative speed of the coil with respect to magnet so magnitude and direction these are the both terms so now we are aware of the role of the current right over here so direction we are the aware of the direction so the next term is magnitude so the induced current in the induced current the magnitude depends upon the relative speed or we can say the velocity velocity of the coil with respect to magnet so it also depends upon the number of tons of coil like we say the n number of tons right so n number of tons and the velocity these are the two terms basically uh, which shows the uh, dependency or relative speed or uh, your number of tons with respect to magnitude of induced current right so the induced current exists so long as there is a relative motion between the coil and magnet so here the induced current exists so long सो इनमें देखो एक जैसे मैं आपको ये फिगर दिखाता हूँ ये जो फिगर नंबर 12.2 है इसमें आप समझ सकते हो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू ऑब्जर्व व्हाट आर द की पैरामीटर्स ओवर हियर और व्हाट आर द ऑब्जेक्ट्स और टर्म्स मेंशन इन दिस डायग्राम सो यू कैन सी दैट यहाँ पे दो कॉइल है सो दिस टू आर द कॉइल्स कॉइल नंबर वन नेम्ड एज वन एंड कॉइल नंबर टू नेम्ड एज टू सो बेसिकली द कंपोनेंट्स ओवर हेयर मैंशन इज रियो स्टैंड सो यू कैन सी दिस इज रियो स्टैंड एंड द बैटरी terminal with positive end and negative end along with key and this is your galvanometer over here right so the flow of current basically over here the presence of the current is long as there there is a relative motion relative motion in terms of a specific velocity we are saying over here so between the coil and magnet so till that time your current will be long lasting in the closed loop or your closed circuit right understood so what's the last point over here this is the seventh point so what it is mentioned basically so instead of magnet and a closed circuit two coils with their planes facing each other also produce similar effects as mentioned above in experiments 1 2 6 one okay okay so basically what they are saying is like that if they, we are considering this Uh, condition over here the plane of coils this is the two coil so it will also generate your induced current or in the case while the uh, this condition uh, the diagram number 12.1 this is the bar magnet with the north and south pole this experiment will also generate over your induced current so with this are the two both uh, we can say these are the both conditions where your induced current will be generated according to the activity we do over here like in case of bar magnet we take uh, that away and we take that back closer to uh, towards the clock coil right so over here what happens in coil 1 and coil 2 here so long uh, so long will be your current exist till the time uh, here the flow of the current with having a relative speed okay so now we are going to see this diagram over here which explains the term faraday's law of induction so again ye wahi diagram hai isko thoda sa dekh ke aapko samajh mein aa jayega basically ke kya hai so jo humne uh, back previous slide mein jo dekha what we had seen the uh, circuit and the coil diagram right so what happens in this diagram is that we have the bar magnet and you can see this is coil right so what is this basically coil uh, which has been uh, bounded with the wires as you can see this is are the conductors or wires you can say which has been connected through your galvanometer so this is your device galvanometer which shows you the deflection right so which shows you the deflection it will be at a uh, which range it will be highest or the lowest or the null range right okay so what we have to predict over here is that when we move or when uh, the bar magnet is approaching towards your uh, circuit or uh, conductor you can see the deflection range over here is very high so what happens is that the one of the pole 
creates over here such a magnetic field that it attracts and the deflection range यानी जो आपका जो like weak होता है जहाँ पे आपका current weak हो जाता है तो वो deflection आपको बताता है जब भी आप दूर लोगे तो वो repulsion हो जाएगा repulsion होने की वजह से आपका जो है again आपके current का position जो है normal हो जाता है so जो flow in the circuit है वो regular हो जाएगा जब भी आप जो है magnet को दूर ले लोगे राइट सो उसमें डिफ्लेक्शन रेंज अगेन कम हो जाएगा यानी नो वीकर सेक्शन इन द टोस्ट सर्किट राइट और ये यहाँ पे नो मूवमेंट जब भी वो एक स्पेसिफिक डिस्टेंस पे ऑलरेडी होगा यानी कि स्पेसिफिक प्लेस पे ऑलरेडी होगा तभी उसमें कोई मूवमेंट नहीं होगा सॉरी ओके सो अभी हमारा है फेराडेज लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन so on the basis of experimental evidences faraday enunciated following laws concerning electromagnetic induction so usne do law mein aapko jo hai like proportionality ka term bataya hai usne aapka jo electrical or magnetic flux hota hai so what first law says here is that whenever there is a change of magnetic flux in a closed circuit an induced emf is produced in the circuit आपका इंड्यूस डी एम एफ इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स जब भी आपका मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स जो है जो भी क्लोज सर्किट के अंदर आपका मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स में अगर कोई चेंज आता है तो आपका जो है इंड्यूस डी एम एफ प्रोड्यूस होता है उस सर्किट के अंदर सो दिस लॉ इज़ अ क्वालिटेटिव लॉ एज इट ओनली इंडिकेट्स द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ इंड्यूस डी एम एफ सो जो फर्स्ट लॉ है दिस ये जो लॉ है फर्स्ट लॉ आपका वो स्पेसिफिक किस चीज़ को टारगेट कर रहा है आपका जो इंड्यूस्ड ईएमएफ है राइट ये इंड्यूस्ड ईएमएफ आपका जो है ये फर्स्ट लॉ के थ्रू टारगेट होता है व्हाट इज़ इन द सेकंड लॉ देन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ इंड्यूस्ड ईएमएफ एम प्रोड्यूस इन द सर्किट इज़ डिरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल वॉट अबाउट दैट दैट इट इज़ डिरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स यानी कि जो आपका मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ इंड्यूस्ड ईएमएफ है जो भी उसका मैग्नीट्यूड है वो किससे डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल है थ्रू इट्स मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स लिंक्ड विद द सर्किट दिस लॉ इज नोन एज क्वांटिटेटिव लॉ एज इट गिव्स द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ इंड्यूस्ड ईएमएफ सो फर्स्ट लॉ इज क्वालिटेटिव एंड इन द अदर हैंड द सेकेंड लॉ इज क्वान्टिटेटिव सो वॉट इज द की मेजर डिफरेंस ओवर हेयर इज like in second law we can see that it is the quantitative it gives the magnitude of induced emf and when whenever there is change in magnetic flux so what first law says is that whenever there is a change in magnetic flux in closed circuit induced emf is produced in the circuit right so if magnetic flux linked with the coil at any instant t then the induced emf can be written in the form of e is directly proportional to your d phi by d t okay so what is over here d, uh, the constant k term as you can see over here this is the constant k term and uh, your uh, phi is the magnetic flux over here and your here the e is your so sorry here your e is the induced emf okay <coughs> so these are the terms so this can be written in this way e is equal to d phi by dt so jab bhi aap is equation ko combine karoge according to first law the sign will be in negative term so if flux is the associated with single term then the total magnetic flux for a coil consisting of n term would be written in the form of e is equals to minus n d phi by d t so this is also known as the flux rule according to which the emf is equal to the rate at which the magnetic flux through the uh, conducting circuit is changing so what is known as the flux rule so flux rule is basically here the emf when your emf is equal to the rate of magnetic flux so e when the value of emf uh, will be same as uh, same as like uh, magnetic flux through conducting uh, circuit or we can say uh, when it it will be appropriate uh, when with respect to your conducting circuit uh, the value of emf will be same with value of magnetic flux so what will be the si unit over here so e is measured in volt and d5 by dt is measured in weber per second so so weber per second can be measured over here is at uh, your volt right okay 
so now we are going to see the lens law so your lens law so what is written over here first we have to see that so without knowledge of work of michael faraday and joseph henry duplicated many of their discoveries independently almost at the same time for determining the direction of an induced current in a loop lens devised a rule so what happened is that uh, michael faraday and joseph henry they both had revised according to the duplicated theory so they had not innovated anything new over here so what lens devised over here is that uh, he had created a rule like which goes by his name lens law so what is that what rule is that so according to this rule the direction of induced current in a circuit is such that the magnetic field produced by the induced current so what he is saying that what he wants to state over here is that the magnetic field produced by induced current okay so the magnetic field is produced by induced current opposes the change in magnetic flux that induces the current the direction of induced emf is same as that of induced current in short the induced emf tends to set up a current so your induced emf is tends to set up a current the action of which opposes the change that causes it so in simple statement we can say over here is that like your the direction of induced current in a circuit in such that magnetic field produced by the induced current opposes the change what happens is here the induced current opposes the change in magnetic flux so your magnetic field is basically opposing the magnetic flux which has been generated by induced current so what are the applications for that over here so first we can see the motion of magnet towards the loop so what are the motion of magnet when in it comes in contact towards the loop so this is your loop basically you can see so magnet motion creates a magnetic dipole in the coil so the motion will definitely create the dipole in the coil uh, so this can be the structure of this diagram basically consisting of the north pole and south pole so the movement is like the uh, inner side we can see what can we see that uh, ray lines or whatever so these are repelling so when it comes to north pole you can see that uh, like your bar magnet supposed to be here so bar magnet when comes in contact with the coil uh, with the upper part is north pole so you are the magnetic rays or magnetic lines over here are repelling from each other so where in case when uh, suppose we make this as south pole in fronter side what will be happening the next so it will merge in this way so the direction will be changing in this way so your direction will be like this when it has been inversely came into contact with the coil so with replacement of north to south and uh, south to north will change the magnetic lines of force so i hope you had cleared about that what i want to say is that there is the attraction which depends on your bar magnet uh, position so supposingly if north comes in contact line will automatically getting into repulsion mode and when it will be in the contact with south pole what will happen next is uh, they come into contact or the uh, attraction moment will be happen over here in the coil itself okay so now we have to take over here the example as i tried to explain in that coil this is the simpler way for you all to understand so aap logo ke liye ye samajhna thoda sa aasan ho jayega jo ye diagram number a ya b hai basically figure number aapka so lens law isme ye batana chahte hain ki aapka jo यहाँ पे आप बार मैग्नेट पे अगर आप फोकस करते हो सो आप विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू सर्टन वेलोसिटी ओवर हेयर सो वॉट हैपन्स वेन द कॉयल कम्स इन कॉन्टैक्ट और वी कैन से वेन बोथ कम्स नियर टू ईच अदर द लाइन गेट so over here dispersed so you can see the motion over here how it happens basically so they get dispersed over here in case of figure number a so when the magnet is moved towards the stationary loop a current is induced as shown in the a so this is basically we can 
understand by the term uh, induced current so here the stationary loop you can see this is the stationary loop when it comes towards each other the current will be induced as shown in figure a where in case b the induced current produces its own magnetic field it will produce its own or the natural magnetic field we can say over here that is directed as shown in b to counter counteract the sorry to counteract the increasing external flux so uh, this is like we can say without uh, uh, without adding any external sources or external parameter as in case of this we are doing in figure a bar magnet so here the uh, movement or the action which has been taken by the coil is happened due to your bar magnet where in the case number b we can say this has been counteract the increasing your external flux so this is your north pole this is your south pole so the flow you can see like this is in clockwise direction so you can imagine in 3d what will happen over here is so this will create like this type of movement some some of this type of movement right so this will be the movement of here over in the coil and what happens over here is this will disperse your magnetic lines of force so i hope you all had well understood this topic so we should now proceed further seeing our next topic what is the next topic so now we come across over here with the topic jumping ring experiment so first of all this is uh, basically theoretical part so an uh, experimental basis so you have to imagine this right so a coil is wound around an iron core which is held vertically upright so a coil is wounded with an iron core and it has been upheld vertically upright right so a metallic ring is placed on top of the iron core a current is then switched on to pass through the coil this will make the ring jump several meters in air so what is the explanation given over here is before the current in the coil is turned on so this is prior condition when the current has been turned on so the magnetic flux through the ring is zero so your flux the value of flux was zero before turning on the coil right before turning your current right so afterwards what happened here so the flux appears in coil in upward direction this change in flux causes an induced emf so change basically causes your induced emf and induced current as well in the ring so the direction of induced current in the ring will be opposite to the direction of current in the coil so your induced current will be opposite from the direction of your current in the coil as uh, we had seen in the dictated by lens law so as the opposite currents repel the ring flies off in air so now we are we can see the lens law and faraday's law so how he how this has been over here compared with each other so faraday's law with special attention to negative sign like e is equals to your minus d5 by d up uh, d5 uh, by dt so considering this area vector a of the loop perpendicular to the plane of loop is fixed and oriented parallel like theta is, is equals to zero when we say parallel it is zero and but when we say perpendicular degree is 90 degree all right so over here the theta matters because this will be going to change uh, with respect to your trigonometric ratio what will be mentioned over here so over here uh, when the condition is parallel in magnetic field theta will be zero your magnetic field will be uh, the angle for that will be zero so the magnetic field b increases with time using the definition of flux the faraday's law can be written as so this is the uh, this is basically the law uh, or formation of your formula uh, formula so how it can be in, uh, uh, how we can write this so e will be is equals to minus t by dt b into a so your e the value of e will be b magnetic field into a your area where uh, it will be further differentiated by th their magnitude so db by dt is the formation of that so a and minus sign will be coming towards outward right 
so your rhs term will be negative quantity but after positive of your uh, positive magnitude of your area and the db by dt is positive as b is increasing with respect to time so the, your whole content or your whole net value will be increasing uh, like this over here we can see like value of a and value of db will be increase as it is in the model right so now uh, your value uh, we can see that the screwdriver rules fixes the positive sense as we know like uh, when you are screwing uh, or we can say when uh, you are basically uh, assume that in a wall when uh, in a wall you are screwing uh, with a driver so what happens is that that round that, that loop uh, will be counted as the positive clockwise direction where in case when you remove that that will be counted in a, a counter clockwise or we can say anti clockwise in negative terms so the sense of induced emf also is negative so induced emf like suppose this is your uh, closed circuit with some of the components like your rheostat your key so your positive terminal your negative terminal so your flow of current is like that from positive to negative where in case where we see the counter clockwise direction what happens is that counter clockwise means anti clockwise direction so it will flow your from a negative to positive direction so direction will be like here for the emf induced emf will be negative which will oppose your current right understood for that so that in lhs of equation indeed of negative quantity in order to be equal to rhs then this thus the negative sign in the equation e incorporates lenz law into faraday's law so i hope this topic has been well understood to you so we should now proceed towards the flux of the field so basically this is also the uh, same repeated topic we can say over here as we know the formula for that phi is equals to b dot d a so your magnetic field and your area these are the both uh, these both are the two terms basically uh, which can define your flux for the field so what it has been written over here in your textbook is the concept of flux of the magnetic field is vital to our understanding of faraday's law so it has been designated basically over here in the terms of your faraday's law so a direction is assigned to this element of area such that if the curve bounding the area is traversed in the direction of the arrow then the normal comes out of the plane of paper towards the reader right so here you can see da is your area over here so a basically uh, direction is assigned to the element of area so the curve bounding is your area which has been traversed to the arrow so then the normal comes to out of the plane of paper towards the reader in other words it it is the direction in which right handed screw will move with if rotated in the sense of arrow on the curve so in uh, case a figure number a we can see small element of area d a bounded by curve considering anti clockwise direction right and in uh, figure number b we can see that finite surface by area as this is your finite uh, surface which can be uh, counted or which can be calculated over here so this can be determined by using your right hand thumb rule or right hand screw rule we can say so it is not actually thumb rule but you can also imagine that in terms of thumb rule also so supposing your element of area d a is situated in magnetic field then the scalar quantity so this has been written in same way when we b dot d a uh, when we write this in terms of magnitude what comes over here is cos theta so b mod b dot mod d a cos theta so this is called the flux of uh, b through the area d a where theta is the angle between the direction of magnetic field and direction assigned to that area d a so well i hope like this has been well clear to you and easily understandable to you so might be this topic has been cleared and 90% the 
topic is based on your flux basically over here so you need to go through over here is your formulas right so check out all the formulas for that so uh, that will simply make your calculation easy for all your numericals so what is your motional emf again so basically we know that the formula for that is for, for magnetic field the formula can be calculated or can be seen like q v cross b as we all know that right correct so agar abhi tak aapko nahi pata hai ye sari cheeze so aap channel mein jaake visit karke jo videos hai chapter number 10 chapter number 11 jo bhi hai so aap jaake dekh sakte ho so aapke concept wahan par clear ho jayenge jo hamare मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू इलेक्ट्रिक करंट है वो चैप्टर आप देख सकते हो वहाँ पे जाके ओके सो व्हाट वी से ओवर हियर इन मोशनल ईएमएफ अ मोशनल ईएमएफ इज वन इंड्यूस्ड इन अ कंडक्टर इट इज इंड्यूस्ड इन कंडक्टर मूविंग थ्रू अ कांस्टेंट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सो बेसिकली इन योर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड और वी कैन से इन क्लोज सर्किट सो इट जनरेट्स अ इंड्यूस्ड करंट इन अ कंडक्टर मूविंग विद अ कांस्टेंट मैग्नेटिक uh field right so the electron in the conductor experience a force so the electron in the presence of magnetic field or electric field will experience a force so that is the common thing we all know about that so over here in diagram we uh, we can see uh, that this is your basically area or the field we can say with respect to the length l so this length l will be the covering area for that motional emf so these are the positive signs or we can say positive ending terminal and the negative ending terminal and here we can see the electron placed in the middle for that so the reaction or the action of the magnetic field for this electron will be in the positive direction and for the electric field will be in the negative direction we can say so force will be in the positive direction and your electric field be in the negative direction so this are the common stuff we know and uh, uh, this this is uh, not just for your motional emf uh, when we say about your electric field uh, right so electron will be facing towards negative direction in presence of that and for the force it will be facing in the positive direction okay so over here motional emf in a rotating bar now what happens in a rotating bar as we seen as as we had seen that in the uh, previous slide it was in a static manner so rotating bar what will happen over here your charge will come into contact with that right with certain velocity v we can say and with respect to your magnetic field so a rotating bar is different in nature from sliding bar uh, right so in this figure a conducting bar rotating around a pivot at one end in the uniform magnetic field which is perpendicular to plane of rotation a rotational emf is induced between the end of the bar so your rotational emf is going to be induced over here between the these two ends of the bar so these are the end of your bars over here with the uh, respect to your uh, radius or r we can say uh, right so these are the direction of the towards the field so a small segment dr of the bar at distance r from the pivot so this is the distance r from your pivot so it is a short in dr of the conductor which is moving with velocity v in magnetic field and as a induced emf generated in like a sliding bar so in this we can see in this scenario these are the following terms we need to undertake that so your de and is equals to b v dot dr so we all know that the induced current is your over here is de with a small segment uh, dr so these are your small segment dr and de with the rotating in uh, rotating your conductor okay so sorry okay so your induced emf in rotating rod will be integrated by e is equals to te that is the term will be integration of bv dr after doing that your velocity will be converted in angular velocity that is omega into r right 
so we can take out your b and omega over here because we want to calculate the value from uh, what has been given in the coordinates uh, supposedly from 0 to 1 we are calculating so what will be happen b omega l square by 2 will be the term uh, right so we have to substitute the value over here for that so when we will be placing one so what happens is that uh, we have to do that the power n1 plus 1 n plus 1 by n plus 1 as we know the integration over here so b omega l square by 2 will be or the final answer when we will be comparing the result of induced emf in sliding bar so that will be b l v right so e the value of e is b l v so we should proceed now and i understood like what are the key terms over here for you all need to understand so this this all are the areas where we need to uh, focus and we need to thoroughly practice for that so i hope you all had been cleared with this so we should now proceed so again uh, here is the representation of diagrams which we have to analyze over here here is the pivot point we can say that this has been taken in the measure so this year uh, this is here the objects m1 and m2 we can say with a certain parameter of 50 centimeter and here is the magnet and here is the coil so your angle between the magnet and coil with respect to pi watt will be the angle theta over here right so if supposingly the angle uh, sorry so uh, distance of pi watt from the extreme point supposing the point A and point B will be 50 centimeter uh, so pi wood from B will be 50 and pi wood from A will be 50 so what can we say this is also known as your magnet coil system so the diagram uh, we can draw this in exam for magnetic coil system so how we measure induced EMF over here in the second diagram so here we can see your rheostat, di diode, key, over here your volt and capacitors, sorry capacitance. So these all are the terms or parameters we can say. So which has been uh, mentioned over here in the diagram with respect to measurement of your induced EMF. So the figure C and figure D we can see the variation of B with time T and variation of E with time T. So with respect to your EMF and your magnetic flux. So these two are the terms your flux and EMF right. So the amplitude we can see uh, when a time t to time uh, t1 to time t2 what happens is that in the initial position at the time uh, t1 it has been uh, taken as a peak point C where in case while approaching towards or while approaching towards the point T2 it remains constant but after uh, but after arriving at the point T2 it comes down suddenly uh, to the null point so this is the motion basically but uh, in the case of C variation in case of EMF over here we can see the T1 is your reaching towards the negative end T2 again is reaching towards positive hands so what will happen again negative again positive so this will be the moment for till it arrive up to end distance so basically this is the flow of motion or we can say the variation of flux over here and your induced EMF okay so uh, over here now we had almost covered the topic so please pay attention it will be almost now clearing within uh, next two to five minutes okay so so we are going to see over here is that your uh, uh, d theta by dt the, uh, this has been uh, like uh, this can be deduced from the oscillation equation so what will be your formula we know that your v will be is equals to one upon t frequency right so this can be seen like this okay so v will be equal to 1 by t so here pe theta 0 diya hai sin aapka 2 pi by t hota hai jab hum aapka omega ka value lete hai to kya hota hai 2 pi by t hota hai right 
सो डी थीटा का वैल्यू यहाँ पे इन्होंने दिया है क्या दिया है थीटा इन टू कॉस टू पाई बाई टी दे रखा है राइट विच हैज़ बिन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ योर टाइम टी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टू पाई बाई टी ओके सो द पीक वोल्टेज ऑफ ई एम एफ विल बी डी फाइव बाई डी टी राइट सो ओवर हेयर वी कैन सी द फाइनल स्टेटमेंट एज योर ई इज इक्वल्स टू डी फाइव बाई डी टी अगेन दिस कैन बी रिटर्न इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डी फाइव अपॉन डी थीटा एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन विथ डी थीटा अपॉन डी टी सो दिस इज द फॉर्म वेयर वी कैन राइट दिस ओके सो फॉर अ गिवन मैग्नेटिक कॉल सिस्टम द पिक हिंडी होस्ट ई एम एफ इज द डिरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू एंगुलर एम्पलीट्यूड सो इट इज डिरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू योर एंगुलर एम्पलीट्यूड एंड इनवर्सली प्रपोर्शनल टू योर टाइम पीरियड सो द फर्स्ट टर्म इज योर डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू योर एंगुलर एम्पलीट्यूड दिस इज द टर्म एंड इनवर्सली प्रपोर्शनल टू योर टाइम राइट टाइम पीरियड टी ओके so thank you guys for completely watching this video and i hope till now you had done the subscribe to our channel and you may also had done the liking to our channel so please like please press the like button if you had not done till now so it's my uh, special request request to you all guys so on behalf of you all so today we are going to conclude this part number 1 over here so Thank you guys for watching this video again if any doubt is over there like if you are facing any doubt you what you can do over here is that you can comment below right so comment section is open for 24 into 7 so you can ask whenever you feel there is doubt or there is query for any of the topic and if you want me to cover any other ideas like your numericals or uh, any question related to your exams or whatever i am going to do for that also so i'll create the video for that also so it will take some time so on uh, basis of your request so okay guys so i would like to conclude uh, today for this much only so okay thank you bye bye kindly share the video